Well, today's deaths add to the mounting civilian casualties in the Ukraine conflict. The Ukrainian army has escalated the military operation in the east. Discussions of the crisis spilled into open confrontation at the UN Security Council, with Washington blaming Moscow for stoking the instability. Let us pull the veil away from Putin's peace plan and call it for what it is, a Russian occupation plan. We need to implement the peace plans we already have, peace plans Russia has signed and broken. If Russia is serious about peace, it should follow through on Minsk, which it agreed to more than four months ago. Well, despite those words, Russian President Vladimir Putin's latest letter to his Ukrainian counterpart made a direct reference to the Minsk agreement, urging both sides to adhere to it. Now, the letter was brushed off by Kiev, according to the Kremlin. Here's what Russia's envoy to the UN had to say about Washington's accusations. The United States representative made several unacceptable comments about Moscow's policies. That's why I have to comment on Washington's policies. Throughout the Ukrainian crisis, the U.S. has played the role of an instigator. After each visit to Ukraine by high-ranking U.S. officials, Kyiv has been increasing its aggression. The current military escalation as well coincided miraculously with the visit to Kyiv by the commander of American forces in Europe. Well, one of the central points in the Security Council's discussion was the attack on a civilian bus in eastern Ukraine earlier this month, an incident that left 12 people dead. While international monitors try to establish who's to blame, officials already have their versions. RT's Marina Portnaya explains. Now, with respect to the January 13th tragic bus attack, Ambassador Cherkin has accused Kyiv of using the tragedy to blame self-defense forces. Now, an OSCE investigation concluded that rockets uh, that caused the five craters uh, around the bus accident were launched from the northeast uh, part of the country, and Russia maintains that there were no separatist fighters in that location. According to the United Nations, more than 4,800 people have been killed uh, during the ongoing conflict. Conflict in Ukraine. Uh, UN officials say East Ukraine is experiencing its worst hostilities since the September ceasefire was implemented. Clearly, that ceasefire is not being respected uh, by uh, the sides that are taking part in the conflict. And until we see more consensus within the UN Security Council, it's hard to understand how this uh, conflict uh, can be uh, can subside in any way because uh, members are still disagreeing on what is taking place there in Ukraine and how to solve the problem.